morning, welcome to Table Talk. I am happy to have you with us this morning. Um, I am Sandy from Pine Needles in West Jordan, Utah, and with me is my friend, Stephanie. Stephanie, <laughs> so you, is this S? We're keeping with the S's. Yes. Shannon, Stephanie. So, um, have you been on Table Talk before, Stephanie? I have not. Okay, Stephanie's been working for us for a while. Since April. And, yep, and I've asked her many times, don't you want to work full time? <laughs> <laughs> but, unfortunately, I have kids at yeah, home still. Yeah, she has a life. You know, know. but what's I would up, love to, but what's up with that? <laughs> Having no life. So, um, you've been gone, you were on last week, right? I was. Where did you go? We went to Ohio and Colorado. So we lived in Ohio for four years and my two oldest were born there and they've been asking us for a long time to go back and see what it's like. So we finally okay. took them and we got to see old friends and everything and catch up. And then we surprised them with a trip to Great Wolf Lodge in Colorado. Was that fun? It was so much fun. Did they love it? Yeah. And we yeah. got to visit their grandma. So oh, okay. Her name is, well, we call her Yaya. It's Greek okay. for grandma. Yep. So. Yaya. And she is not doing very well, but it was oh, good to see them. Good to see mm -hmm. her. Good to see her yeah. and everything, so. For sure. Um, and your kids' ages are? I have 13, 11, 8, and 6. So that's quite a family trip. Yes. Did you fly? We did. did you fly? Yeah. yeah, we were going to drive. We decided last minute to change. So. You decided last minute that you yeah. wanted to be happy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a little bit easier. <laughs> Absolutely. Although we grew up on car rides so and that's so did my, I. yeah you know but when you get a good deal on a flight you got to take it yeah, so absolutely um i was at stitch west yeah, over the weekend kathy and i it was fun good. it we'd never been to a cross stitch retreat we didn't know what to expect but it was fun and we were out in the lobby in the morning we thought oh we'll get there at 9 30 it opens at 10 we'll get 9 30 so we can get in and get a table and we're out in the lobby area and we th well, it's probably down there. And so we started walking down the hall and as we got, we heard voices and more voices. <laughs> got around the corner and there was this big old line oh, of no. people, <laughs> women waiting to get in. Waiting to get yeah. in, oh no. So you, ha you entered, you had to register. So you signed up for giveaways. So you just wrote your name on a little slip of paper that you mm -hmm. got giveaways. You got a bag. This little Cute. bag, um, project bag, which has my lamp in it. I love it. Um, and you could sign up for massages if you wanted. <laughs> they had massages yes, on the second day. <laughs> and I didn't because I thought, oh, I'll go back after we got to get in and get our ticket. Yeah. Right. But I missed the opportunity, so oh. I didn't get to get a massage. But oh. next time I won't, I won't do that. But yeah, you could sign up and have a massage during oh, the Oh, well, retreat. that sounds amazing. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Um, and then we went into our table, and Diane, who works for us, oh yeah, she had saved us a little spot at her table. Oh, perfect! Because she was vending; she was, had things that she was oh, selling there, there so go. she was in earlier. Um, so we sat down and just started stitching. How fun! So, yeah, looked like you had a good little setup there. Yeah, I saw your Instagram. Yeah, I um, before we went, um, I made Kathy and I both. So I made mine first. Let me show you. Let's see. So this was mine oh, that cute. I made, which is just a little mat to go on our table to mark, kind of mark our little spot. And I thought, oh, that'd be fun to have some little things. So yeah. I made this, which I showed on Instagram. And then after I made it, um, I was going to make one for Kathy. So I had said, pick whatever mini charm pack you want, mm -hmm. and I'll make you one. So she picked. Juicy, very cute for movie star. Good yeah. choice. So, um, and I again put a little scissor holder on hers and a little tab for out of wool for your parking your needles and some hooks. And then we used the salvage. Oh, cute for here. Very I don't know cute. what that'll be for, but but it's we cute. wanted to use that salvage. Mm -hmm. So then on Kathy's, I decided to put a bag on the back. Oh, that's a good so idea. So it has a little project pouch on the back. Love it. So, how fun. Anyway, it was fun. So, that was marked our place. So, while you're there, you do table favors. Mm -hmm. for, there's eight people at a table, usually. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you just make something to take with you. Oh, fun. As a little favor. So, this was the table favor I gave to everybody. Oh, wow. That's awesome. So, we made these little, they're kind of a little mini project bag. Um, and just with some little quilty pencils and a little notepad, and then we gave them the, um, oh, the little floss, floss mm -hmm. drops from Lori Holtz yep. mittens to go with our little Christmassy theme. So, um, 
I have an extra. Oh. So that will be our giveaway this week. That's awesome. How fun. So, so watch till the end. Find out how to win that little project bag. Um, but I had to show some of the things Diane made. So um, we did a little shopping. They have a few vendors there um, that come and just, and most of them are there stitching, but then they also are mm -hmm. fit. So they're there as part of the show. Diane made these fabulous oh. project folios. And how nice it's hard and stiff yeah. and she uses gonna... that um by Annie soft and stable. Oh yeah. And then with the vinyl and she How cute. Those zipper cute little zippers. Zippers. So I had to buy one of those and it's got pockets here. Cute. So she was selling these and then she was also selling um project bags. Very cute. And I had to get this Christmas cute little winter one. Huh? Yeah. So that was a couple of my purchases. And I couldn't find my scissors, so I bought a pair of scissors. <laughs> because who goes to a stitching retreat and doesn't have scissors? Right? Yeah. So we had, and then sometimes people would just bring stuff to your table, just yeah. end out to people. Well, there yeah. you go. Not a bad gig. So, yeah. So we got this little, it has some, um, Sampler threads, oh. sampler threads, which are always hard to get, mm -hmm. um, and a little floss a ring, ring with yeah, a charm, and it's really cute. What was this one? This was little. That was from Emily. Oh, this was from Emily Call. Cute mm -hmm. Emily. Mm -hmm. Had a little chapstick that oh, has cute. her little logo and stuff on it. A little cute little bag. <laughs> so Emily gave us that, and then the nicest ladies. I mean, the nicest ladies came. And they gave Kathy and I each one of these. Now, this is hard to see. I'm gonna have to get, um, take some pictures of it. This is the cutest little Halloween box. So uh -huh. I get it and, and it's got this little tiny cross stitch in there that's done. Yeah. One of Emily Call's patterns. And I'm thinking, how stinking cute is that? I'm gonna display just like that. Then I see something inside. And I'm like, I think there's something behind that. So I take, slip that off and open it up. And that little oh, cross stitch. Cute. And a pair of scissors. That's so cute. So cute. And it had little beeswax, thread, mm, yeah. thread, thread, and needles, and, and seized candies. Oh. And like, I just was like, oh my gosh, it's not just which was which like was over the top, yeah. <laughs> was the cross stitch. So I'm still gonna, I think, display it that way because it's so, so cute. She's it a is. And oh. on her ribbon, it's like little charms. I was just like, we have some of the best customers. Gushing That's over awesome. That. Yeah. That's awesome. And they just brought it to us. And that was from Donna and Diane. So Donna White and Diana Lewis. So cute. Out of Napa, California. How yeah. fun. Yeah. And then the next day, Brought us a little package. You oh, get, like, how cute. They're so into presentation. <laughs> and with some little chocolates. Oh. And I haven't eaten them yet because it's so <laughs> cute. It's so cute. Yeah. So, so sweet. I mean, and they, they've been in the store. And are they, is Donna on our bowl club? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking fun. that that's what she said. Yeah. But they're just, the people there were just so nice. They were oh. coming up and they shopped in the store and oh, I was in your store the other day and <laughs> it was just so sweet. Thank you. We have yeah. the best customers. Love it. Yeah. So I had to give a shout out to them because that was amazing. Um, and then the teacher was hands-on design, oh, Kathy mm -hmm. from hands-on okay. design. And you, well, not really a teacher because you, you get a kit, an exclusive kit that she does just for the mm -hmm. retreat. Mm -hmm. Well, but, she did a tutorial on And then she oh, did a okay. tutorial finishing. on finishing. Okay. Um, so we all got the supplies to do a little finishing thing that we'll use once we finish our cross stitch. Oh, cute. So she taught us about, you know, lacing and, and oh, yeah. such uh -huh. on our little discs. So these will be used with one of the projects. Oh, and her kits were so over the top. So over the top. <laughs> She's like... She's I mean, my every, kind of people. Everything was in there. Yeah. Everything oh, was fun. in there. Your, you know, your mat board for finishing it, your floss, hand-dyed fabrics, oh, all your DMC wow. floss, a needle minder, 
the pattern wasn't just one project, it was three projects. Oh, wow. Yeah, and enough of everything to do all, all three. three. Wow. Yeah, and oh, and that's not all. A little handmade. Oh my gosh. With needles. And the wow. little. Wow. And the little. Part for your needle, little wool part. Wow. She made all those. Oh my goodness. 200 people. She made them all. I know. Crazy. Good for her. Where did she find that yeah. time? Yeah, ribbons and rickrack and oh, wow. everything. everything. Just amazing. That's a really cute pattern, too. And a really cute she pattern. She shared it on her. Did she share it? Yeah, so mm -hmm. if you follow Hands On Design, you've seen this Make Today count. That's so cute. See, there's one of the little round ones. That's so cute. So the main. Oh, and we got the board. Oh, the to board. do that one, huh? To do, wow. To do the finishing. Wow. So everything you need batting everything you need was in our kit that's really cool that's really fun i know great so the first day it was everything to do the main project and one other one and then the next day she brought us another kit that was for finishing and oh. another pattern now. and another pattern wow yeah an additional pattern so then we got a new pattern oh cute. all the tutorial for the finishing of it and the supplies was our the next night we got that so, so cool fun. so cool she was amazing so i bet yeah well, you might have to shut down for stitch west for all of us uh, to be no, able to go next year it was year. really fun um and it was just you just stitch how fun and these people just sit and stitch for hours and these are like these are die hard oh, stitchers I'm sure a lot of them are like they've got their setup they've got all the tools they've got all the all wow. the stuff wow you know but it was a c of those magnifying lights. Oh, how fun. I, I was <laughs> I just it. a sea of them everywhere, you know, and then you'd see them plugged in, recharging. Oh, yeah, all over. Side, everyone's <laughs> on, you know, but yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. So, no, oh, how fun. I recommend. They, it's Snug Harbor Crafts. Okay. And if you go to Snug Harbor Crafts dot blogspot dot com, that's where you find out information on oh, their retreats. Okay. They do a spring one and a fall one. The spring one is already. Full, well, of course. Mm -hmm. You can sign up for a wait list. Um, but if you watch their blog spot and you follow them on Facebook, you'll find out about when they release the dates fun. for next year's fall. Wow. But, well, super fun. Women from all over. Yeah. From I'm all sure. over the country. Well, and and there's a lady from Canada. And yeah. Whenever there's a retreat here in Utah, yeah. we get them um, all over. Yeah. And it's fun to hear and see them. So I went to see about maybe someday I'll do a retreat. I don't know. I know. You've got the gathering place. I know. That's there. what I thought. Well, we've got the gathering place. I wish we had a hotel on yeah, site. That I would know. be so that nice. That would be really nice. Um, but we don't. No. But there. it was really convenient. It was upstairs, uptown at the Marriott. Oh. Uptown, downtown. I don't know where we are. <laughs> um, and it was connected to City Creek. Oh. Mm -hmm. And so we just would go over there to eat. And yeah. Perfect. Oh, fun. So, lots of fun. Anyway, that was my weekend of stitching. Yesterday, I didn't end up going. Oh my gosh, I had the worst cold. Oh no. The first day, I took an antihistamine before I went. <laughs> Were you struggling and I was a like, little? <laughs> yeah, struggling to stay awake. I just want to go lay down. I mean, I, seriously, I thought there was this table outside that was for oh, registration, uh -huh. and the tablecloth went down to the floor. <laughs> And I honestly was walking by and I and thought, I wonder if I under? could just crawl under that table and take a nap. <laughs> and I'm like, I seriously was thinking about oh, it. Oh, no. And I'm like, why am I so tired? I couldn't figure it out. Then finally about, I don't know, later in the evening, I was like, oh, I took, I took an allergy it. pill. <laughs> and it just, it. so it the next day I was like, yeah, yeah, no more allergy pills. Yeah. I'll blow oh. my nose all day if I need to because I'm, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to be wanting to sleep all day. Yeah. Anyway, Kathy and I are kind of late, early some of these people they go so it goes till 10 o'clock and then they have after 10 oh wow you can go out into the lobby areas and stitch, and stitch. for wow. late night stitchers and i said to diane because diane was staying uptown and i said did anyone was there anyone out in the, oh she says oh yeah there was tables of people out in the lobby wow first for one thing i that, that's can't a lot that's of, a lot of you know yeah you need that massage on the second day yeah for you did that. yeah because you're you know but I guess, you know, you pay the money, you fly here, you got to get yeah, your you stitching got, yeah. in. That's right. But yeah. then there was also a lot of visiting going on. Oh, I'm sure. I'm a lot sure. of, you know, people meeting up and seeing people they saw last year and hadn't seen for a long time. So oh, that's how, fun. Cute. how fun. Anyway. So that was my thing on the retreat. Now, while we were gone, it was our last witch's night out. Woohoo! 
Yeah. Yeah. It's It's fun, but it's it's very exhausting. (laughs) But Halloween is coming. Yes. Um, And just FYI, if you're in the area and be shopping on Halloween, we close at four Mm o'clock. The whole village does. It's like, go home, enjoy your families. Yep. We've done October. Mm -hmm. We're done. So, um, so we will have some sales on our Halloween stuff this week. Um, and then we'll be flipping it over to Christmas. Yeah, we already have. We already Christmas, have but yeah. yeah, but then the Halloween displays will go away. Yeah. So, um, got a lot of new fabrics in. Yeah. One of them that we got in is this panel, which is humongous. Holy cow! Yes, it is. Okay, you take that in. Okay. So this is a bag panel. So cute. And the instructions are on here, I believe, at the bottom. Where are they? I saw them somewhere. Oh, oh right up, up, here. up here. So this is called the Zippy Bags 3. And these are Lori Holt prints, and there's um, little tags for them and all just kind of things. So. Very fun. Some zippers and your pa- panel, and you're all ready to go. Yeah. So, and this is um, like a decor weight. Yeah. This is yeah, not thicker. your regular cotton. This is thicker. Mm-hmm. So one of her decor weight pieces. You show that one. This is Hush Hush 4. There are so many cute ones. So many. I just told Sandy, um, you're going to get me into some trouble. Yeah. It, there's lots of cute ones. There's this cute little Sawtooth Star. There's another one that they had before, but it's on a pink background. Uh-huh. It's got all the little fun stitches. Yep. Yeah cute strawberries there's so many cute ones in here so their hush collections are they have all their designers mm-hmm. design a different low volume print and then they print them up and they're just yeah, they're oh so they're so good cute. there's some gummy bears mm-hmm. they're so cute um if you go on to rileyblakedesigns.com go to their free patterns <clears throat> or go to their sew alongs mm-hmm. either way the free patterns is where you'll get the patterns but go to their sew along because there is the cutest quilt they're doing right now using, Mm -hmm. it takes a a Hush 4 fat quarter stack and then some of their new shades, shabby. Oh, uh uh-huh, shabby. Shabby. Their Mm -hmm. new shabby prints. Um, And I can't remember how many pieces there are in that, but it tells you what colors and stuff. We have them all. We do. Um, And you can do the quilt. It's a log cabin with different blocks in the center that all the designers have done. So it's really cute. cute. So if you want to do that, sew along with them. We have the fat quarter stacks and And we have the shabby and we'd be happy to put Mm -hmm. that together for you. Um, We got another kind of, kind of basic line, but so one of the things that sells out every time Mm -hmm. Lella Boutique does a collection, she does these dots Mm -hmm. and we, as she uses them as backgrounds, we always awesome. try and get more. They're always sold out. Well, she just released all of her, what are they called? Magic Something dots. dots. What are they? Magic. Magic, Magic dots. dots. Mm-hmm. And by Lilla Boutique. And just in all these colors. And, and they're so they good. They are so good. They are all so good. Yeah. So we got this collection. Um, and some of these, you'll notice from her. Mm-hmm. From her Christmas like Christmas, one. oh, mm-hmm. that's such a and great I've dot. seen Americana mm-hmm. in the Americana there. one, mm-hmm. and just they're really fabulous. So we have that collection in. We also got, which I didn't bring over. Riley Blake just did a new ginghams collection, mm-hmm. and they have a micro gingham. It's so cute. so they have your small gingham, but then they have a little micro gingham. Mm-hmm. So those are in a whole bunch of colors. And so I know we, people have been asking so often. When are mm-hmm. they going to have ginghams? Yeah. Back? yeah. I don't know why they, they took all these basics away. Yeah. So, so they released those again. And the micros, well, I, I love that. But mm-hmm. It's cute. Like a stripe. I always like a micro stripe. So mm-hmm. watch soon because I told them when they showed us the micro ginghams, I said, I need a micro stripe. I told the rep, I said, this is, and I, and Holly, I told her as well. And she's like, really? And I said, we can't keep micro stripes oh. in. Mm-hmm. And they said, oh. Good to know. So yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if Riley Blade doesn't come out with a micro stripe before Good. too long. So anyway. Good. Those are always fun. A couple other. This one's Wonderless by Riley Blake. Um, I'm not sure who the designer is on this one. But it's a fun floral kind of country-ish feel. Yeah. Vintage it's, country feel. Mm-hmm. It's, it's really so pretty. Yeah. Um, 
It is by, oh, okay, and I don't, Danellis Sidron. I think she's a fairly new designer with Riley mm -hmm. Blake. So that collection. And then Melody. Yeah. And, and the Melody one's... is by, is that Bev McCullough? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this one's just a cute little fresh, fresh, yeah, springy. Yeah. They're, they've got some yeah. good free, springy Now ones. this one, when it came in. This one right here? Uh-huh. This is called, what is it? Um, see. Birds and Butterflies. Buds, birds Bud, and Butterflies. Buds. Oh, Buds and Butterflies. Buds and Butterflies. If you know me, you know I don't like purple. I was quite surprised to see this one. And this came in and they're like, Sandy. I'm like, did I order that? <laughs> because it is, there's a lot of purple. It's all in purple, it. yeah. Purples but and greens. We and... must like the project. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, you can't always just buy what you like. You have to buy what's like. Not yeah. that I don't, uh, the prints are beautiful. I just am not a purple person. And but, that's fair. But it's, they're soft. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they're it's really, not like, really cute. Ah, in yep. your face purple, so. Yep. And we have a quilt being done out of this and cute. So I think they're, I think people really like this. Shelly really liked this. Mm, yep, I can see yep. that. Shelly likes purple. She's a purple. Yep, she is a purple person. So <laughs> anyway, so we've had lots of new fabrics come in. Uh, I think there were some other lines, but there are. Yeah, there's yeah. a black and white one back here. Oh, black and white. That My mind's cute. eye. Kathy, do you have something showing that fabric? It is so pretty. The bolts are up on the wall back there. Kathy's going to look for a fat quarter stack for that. <laughs> My mind's eye, their florals are always Yeah, she always so does bright. such a great job. And it's blacks and grays and creams. And, oh, really pretty. Mm -hmm. Really pretty. And I'm sure, oh, Kathy, Anna made for Kathy a folio, a little mm. cross-stitch folio. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is called Midnight Meadow. Mm -hmm. I like that. It's really pretty. And it's got beautiful florals and some some plaid and stripe, or not stripe, but it's like a diagonal plaid. Yeah. And dots. It's just really pretty. It's just so typical pretty. my mind's eye florals. Mm -hmm. Just really beautiful. Mm -hmm. So that would be fun. Yep. Um got a couple cross stitches in. We got it. The new, well, we got more than two, but these are the two we grabbed this morning. These are from Little House Needleworks. So this is number nine, is that right? Called Log Cabin Mr. Snow. And those ones are so cute. They're so cute. Her series are always mm -hmm. cute. And then this one is called Santa's Helper. And it is a sleigh and a reindeer and trees. And just very pretty so Christmas. Cute. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this stitch count is 71 by 72. So these are fairly small, you know, easy to stitch up mm -hmm. and just beautiful. So it was fun to see it at Stitch West. Um, Hands on Design had all her designs. She had oh, all uh -huh. her models out for us to see. And it was really fun to see the different finishing. Oh, I'm things, sure. You know? Yeah. Because it's cross stitch is, isn't just frame it no. anymore. Mm -mm. You know, there's just lots of different fun finishing. Yeah. So, um, so that'll be fun to do. I've got a bunch of finishing I need to get done. Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, last week, we asked the question, what are you looking most forward to in the holidays? I think we asked that question. Kathy says, I'm not sure we even asked a question. <laughs> but we randomly drew a winner, and it was... Let me find out where... So I can see what she said... We just oh so it's donna white 9500 and she says hi i'm the california lady that is staying for nothing retreats my friend and i were in the store monday and we found lots of cross stitch and fabric to buy and i was so excited to get the little ghost quilt kit and book for my grandson henry he is one years old and will love both the book and the quilt i never miss a chance to come and shop i love the witches and when it's fairy time. So awesome. Yeah. So, and Donna She's the one that made them. was the one, when we drew that name, I said, I, Donna, why? I think I know that. Donna's the one that gave us this cute Oh, little how fun. So I was excited when we drew her name. That was yeah. awesome. So thank you, Donna. And we, you have won. Last week we gave away. I think it was the, um, 
Wasn't it the back panel? Oh, yes. It was the back Mickey panel Kim. for um, Minky. Minky Kim's back panel. Oh, that was yeah. a cute one. So that's a cute one. Mm -hmm. So Donna, we um, I think we have your address, so you don't need to contact us. We know who you are, and we will get that mailed out to you. Perfect. So, sometimes we know who the person is. If they're on like one of our bowl clubs or something, you oh, know yeah. mm -hmm. who they are. Um, so Donna, you won't need to contact us, but you're the winner and congratulations. And cool? yes, we will. I'll show this. Yeah. Um, this week we will be giving away, like I said, the little project bag that I gave. Right here. Oh, there we go. Um, this was the table favor I gave away. So we will mm -hmm. be giving away this. And our question will be, have you ever t attended a cross stitch or quilt retreat? Yeah, that's a good one. And if we were to do a quilt retreat, was that something you'd be interested in? I like it. And what do you like best about the retreats if you've attended? Mm. Yeah, have you attended a quilt retreat? I haven't, unfortunately. Mm. I, this was my first cross stitch. I have attended quilt retreats. Mm. I prefer quilt retreats and cross stitch retreats like this one where you're just doing your own thing. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I don't like them when they're structured and you yeah. have to take the classes and everything. Yeah. I want to work because on my own thing. Because then I can come home with four or five unfinished projects where if I go and I... Yeah, then I'm just starting new projects and yeah. I don't want that. Uh, I think there's lots of different types of retreats. Like I say, this is the only cross-stitch mm -hmm. retreat I've ever been to. But So let us know what your thoughts are on retreats. And we will draw a random winner next week and we will give away that pack. Yes. One thing we wanted to show is this quilt that's on our table. And this is a quilt that Robin made. And I will have Ariel put the name of it. Bright side. It, what is it? Bright side. Bright side is the fabric or that's the That's the name of the quilt. The, that's the, the name pattern. of the kit. Okay. okay. Bright side. So Cute. this will be on our website. We have kits available and just, we've shown a lot of Halloween and a lot of Christmas. So we're showing a little yes. something different. Now. Yes. Something for every day. So, um, is there anything else we needed to talk about, Kathy? Shortly after the Halloween stuff goes away, they'll start their Christmas displays, getting those up. The elves. The elves will be mm -hmm. out in the village and we're supposed to have a little change in weather this week. Yeah. I've really enjoyed it. Like, it's been really nice. It has been really nice. It's going to get in the 50s. Yeah, it's going to be in the 50s, like, tomorrow. and that's going to seem yeah, cold. Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah like tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. I was wearing shorts to the thing on Saturday. Yeah. And then, you know, yeah. I'll be wearing a sweater, but can't, 50s aren't that bad. It's not like they're dumping no, us right just, into winter. Yeah, as, as long as it get doesn't 50s on Halloween. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I do want it to be nice on Halloween for yeah. the oh, trick-or-treaters. Yeah, it'd be nice. For the three that come to our house. <laughs> no. Hopefully we'll get a few more. But anyway, um, that's it for this week. And post a comment and we will talk to you next week.